what if it took four hours to decrease a major community health problem by 80% for just $500? In more than 60 countries, artisanal metal workers produce pure gold for sale through a centuries-old process that is dangerous to human health and the environment. Mercury is used to separate gold from sediments and ore. When it's burned to extract the pure gold, the process creates a dangerous byproduct airborne mercury vapors. Mercury is a neurotoxin. High exposure of adults and children to mercury vapor is very dangerous and can cause neurological damage, kidney disorders, respiratory effects, even death. Because of the adverse health effects of airborne mercury, it's important for the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and its partners to find solutions for the global gold mining community. In and outside of gold shops, workers and the general public are exposed to dangerously high concentrations of mercury. The levels are tens or hundreds of times higher than the maximum limits set by the United Nations World Health Organization. The international community should care about the use of mercury in small-scale gold mining because it's actually the largest single intentional use of mercury in the world. So even though it's scattered uh, around the globe, it is a, a very large single source that needs to be controlled to protect the health of millions of people across the planet. Despite the serious threat to public health and the environment, these gold shop emissions are, for the most part, uncontrolled and unregulated. They persist in the environment, impacting air, water and soil, as well as fish and other foods. This widespread health concern has been a focus of the EPA for years. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency created the Gold Shop Mercury Reduction Project to reduce the amount of mercury emitted from these gold shops worldwide. These emissions are transported globally through the atmosphere, where they pose serious health threats far from the source. Most of the mercury that reaches people comes from global sources. In the United States, more than 70% of the mercury comes from global sources. One of the serious health threats from mercury is that it gets into our food chain. That's why it's so important that we reduce global mercury. The goal was to adapt proven mercury control methods to develop a low-cost, simple design easily constructed with materials widely available in most parts of the world. A metal shop can build the MCS in as little as four hours. Installing the system requires minimal changes to the shop's existing exhaust system. Its compact design makes it easy to transport by car, bus, or even moto taxi. Working with EPA experts, engineers at Argonne National Laboratory designed the Mercury Capture System, or MCS. Local metal shop workers build the systems in several cities in Brazil and in Peru, and they come out between $450 and $500. Of course, that depends on the price of local materials, but these are very easily available materials. The MCS has been tested in Brazil and Peru and is currently reducing mercury emissions by as much as 80%. It's hard to promote these technologies, even though they are very effective and low cost, because the communities that are doing this kind of mining are spread all over the world. So even though we have a great technology, the, ca the mercury capture technology, spreading in the word on the availability of it and the cost effectiveness of it is a very big challenge. People in the, and organizations in the inter international community that are focused on reducing mercury should be engaged in this. And that includes governments, development agencies, NGOs, actually community leaders, those who are concerned about the well-being of people all across the world and reducing health threats to them should be engaged in this process. This is why it is so important for us to work together to reduce this threat. The widespread adoption of the mercury capture system can prevent thousands of pounds of mercury from entering the atmosphere annually. A simple solution for healthier, safer citizens.